Hello students, welcome to lecture 2 of unit 3 that is electrical and magnetic properties of atoms and molecules. In this lecture, we will discuss about the clausius mozotti equation and the Lorentz-Lorentz equation. Let us begin with the clausius mozotti equation. The clausius mozotti equation is a relation between the polarizability alpha for a molecule and the epsilon, which is the dielectric constant for a dielectric substance. So, the clausius mozotti equation is given as shown here, where polarizability alpha is equal to 3 by 4 pi n, where n is the number of molecules per unit volume, divided by epsilon minus 1 into epsilon minus 2. So, this equation was given by Mozzotti in 1850 and independently by Clausius in 1879. This equation works best for gases and is only approximately true for liquids or solids because the dielectric constant is large in the later cases. The equation provides a link between the microscopic quantity that is polarizability and the macroscopic quantity that is dielectric constant and it was derived using macroscopic electrostatics. This is another form of the same equation where epsilon r is epsilon by epsilon naught which is the dielectric constant of the material epsilon r minus 1 by epsilon r plus 2 is equal to n to alpha that is polarizability divided by 3 epsilon naught where epsilon naught is the permittivity of the free space. The SI unit for alpha is C meter square by V. For a mixture of say two or more species, the right hand side of the above equation would consist of the sum of molecular polarizability contribution. That is, it is the same equation as before, just we have to introduce this summation term to include all the polarizabilities. The Lorentz Lorentz equation can be written in the form as given here. It is very similar to Clausius Mosotti equation, but the only difference is when the Clausius Mosotti equation links polarizability and, as you can see here, polarizability and dielectric constant, but the Lorentz Lorentz equation it relates between the refraction. Uh, refractive index and the microscopic quantity polarizability that is alpha is related to the refractive index here refractive index is the macroscopic quantity and the microscopic quantity is the polarizability so it is an equation between index of refraction eta and density rho of a dielectric and is given by this equation where k is the proportionality constant and it depends on polarizability of the molecules constituting the dielectric so, what is the similarity in the two equations? The similarity is that both of them are very similar, but the Lorentz Lorentz equation relates refractive index rather than dielectric constant to its polarizability. And this equation was named after the Danish mathematician Ludwig Lorentz and a Dutch physicist Hendrik Lorentz who discovered this uh, property independently. So that would be all for today's lecture. Kindly go through the notes. You shall find elaborate explanation and derivation in there. If you have any doubts, do not forget to email or WhatsApp me. Thank you for your attention.